two swims and two batteries were in Hong Kong, and tracing the history of the western tip of Hong Kong Island. Hong Kong, Pearl of the Orient, is famous for its beautiful harbor, skyscrapers, and shopping malls. In this series, we are taking you behind the glass to discover some of the hidden histories. Welcome back to Walk It and Left. You can see we are at a very unique place again with my friend Dan. Hello, dramatic, isn't it? <laughs> this is the Sai Wan Swimming Shed. Okay. So. Dan is a very keen swimmer. He, he asked me to take him for something swimming. Uh, every time I, I take him out for the show. But this is very unique in Hong Kong. That in the 60s and the 50s, uh, last century was very, very popular. Okay, right. Presumably before they had proper swimming pools, they'd go in the sea. Exactly. Yeah, well, I'm looking for it's a bit rough, but I think I'm going to get in. I'm going to risk it. Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, it looks nice. You but, going in, Jack? Well, <laughs> I might. But after this, we have another place to show you. Excellent. All in the very west tip of Hong Kong. Sounds good. Time for a swim. The swimming shed sits between Hong Kong Island and the Green Island, and with vessels passing by, creating big waves. The currents can be strong, but I could not resist on a hot day like today, and I jumped in as well. But quite fresh, nice. Ooh. But Dan's expectations were much higher. Pizza bar, a couple of little tables here, found a couple of ice cold beers. Heaven. We then headed up towards Mount Davis. It's actually just right there and a one hour walk away. But on such a hot day, we cheated with a taxi rub. The Mount Davis battery was completed in 1912, defending to the west of Victoria Harbor. There are several sites around that you can easily excise, giving you a clearer picture of the layout. It's abundant now and covered with green. Well done. That was a huge rubble. That was quite a surprise, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Wouldn't like to upset it. This is the site of the Mount Davis battery in World War II. <laughs> it was a huge battery. Uh, here they defend Hong Kong a little bit. Yeah. With, with uh, the Japanese Invasion Army, mm -hmm. exchange fire here. Um, yeah. I think they were at the Kowloon side, when the Japanese occupied the Kowloon side. Right. They exchange fire a lot, and also the, the air force of the Japanese. A valiant but doomed but effort, I think. Yeah. Sorry, say again. A valiant but doomed effort. Anyway, this, this is not all. There's still a little bit more to see. Yeah, it's been really good, really fascinating, very diverse. Yeah. <laughs> good to know that. Onwards. There's an off-road trail marked as Friends of Mount Davis. We took part of it to get down faster. Be careful, though. It can be slippery after some rain. Getting a bit technical now. We soon approach the Jubilee Battery, which is now in the University of Chicago Francis and the Rosyuan Compass. Together with Mount Davis Battery, they formed the defending line on West Hong Kong Island. Jubilee is much better preserved and with clear indication boards. Both Dan and I agreed that this would be a better choice to understand the war history. This is also supposed to be the best place to watch the sunset on Hong Kong Island. But I have something better to offer them, the Sandy Bay Swimming Shed. We made it! And um, while well, today is a bit cloudy, we won't be able to see the sunset, I promise them, but... It's still spectacular, to be fair. It's not, it's not a bad view. Second swim, guaranteed. I'm hot, I'm going in. How was uh, the whole trip for you, then? It was really nice, yeah, it was really good. Interesting and enjoyable, but yeah, really good, Jack, thanks. 
So please like our show and subscribe. You will see more Hong Kong secret history. Bye bye. <laughs>